What is good everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Forrest Ripperton back at it again with another video. You dig? And today guys, it is the last Saturday of the month and every last Saturday of the month, Goodwill does half off on mostly everything in the store. So that's where I'm headed at today. Um, this is the Goodwill up the street from my house. And hopefully I can get some more footage of me going to some more Goodwills around. So that's what we're going at today. And we're gonna see if we can pick up something fire. So let's get to it. Get it! All right, guys, so we are outside of the Goodwill up the street from my house. We about to go ahead and see what we can find, you know what I'm saying? You see, it's a lot of people in here for the 50% off. The line is literally wrapped around the store. Wrapped around. Look how long the line is. Look how long the line is. This line is OC long all the way to the back of the store. Alright y'all, so y'all see the line in here. The line is literally to the back of the store. And I'm probably not about to get anything because I do not want to stand in that line. But I do want to see if they got something sweet in here. But yeah, all the goodwill is probably going to be deep like this. This line is literally at the back of the store. But let's see what we can find. I found a nice pair like Doc Martens. It's a size 11, but the condition not really that bad. They for $16, so half off, that's $8, but they not that bad. All my uh, Sasquatch feet out there, big size uh, 14 b knots, but this is size 11, but it's not bad condition though. Michael put these up in the shop, you know what I'm saying? Might have to get these. All right, everybody, so that Goodwill wasn't really you know what I'm saying? It wasn't really doing it for me. They didn't really have that many things. Um, I grabbed those Doc Martens I showed y'all. And I grabbed me a, like a Nautica flannel. And I also got this bag out there. I can't wait to show y'all. That joint is fire. But they didn't really have anything in there. I don't know if I'm about to go to another Goodwill. But hopefully I do. Because I want to get some more footage for y'all and find some more heat. But it wasn't really nothing in there. Well, nothing was really hitting. So what's good everybody? So we are in the second Goodwill. Um... This, this one is a little bit better than the other one by my house. So we about to see what we can find up in this joint, you know what I'm saying? This Goodwill shopping is lit, I'm telling y'all. Y'all need to come to the Goodwills every last Saturday of each month. 50% off everything. So I'm hipping y'all to some games. So let's see what we can find in here. Right, so I found like a little vest right here. It says a technical vest. It looks sweet. Kind of fuck with this joint. We'll put it in the cot. I might fuck with it, but I found this polo jeans long sleeve shirt with the deer on it and the American flag. And they got the little polo jean patch on it. It's definitely a cop. It's very sweet. I found a Tommy Tommy. You know what I'm saying? That Tommy Hill figure. Tommy for your mammy. You did. Shout out to Paul Can too for that one. Tommy for your mommy. But yeah, got the Tommy Hill figure shirt. Size large. Definitely putting that in the crew. I also wanna let y'all see the fit, you know what I'm saying? I got the Yeezys on. You know what I'm saying? This is my first time wearing white pants ever in my life. That I can remember, but got the shirt on with the custom vest that I made. Y'all can see the back a little bit. Just stop behind yourself. I've been rocking the babushka lately with the chains. I just wanted to give y'all an update on the fit. Show y'all I'm always keeping it sway. <laughs> Alright y'all, so that Goodwill was a little decent. It got a little bright, but that Goodwill was a little decent. I picked up like three things and I spent $6, so that was decent. I can't wait to show y'all the pieces though. It was cool little pieces. They had more stuff than the first one that I went to. But yeah, uh, I think we're gonna go to like one or two more. I'm not sure, but y'all definitely will see. And then I'm going to go over like a whole overall and show y'all all the pieces that I did pick up. Which ones I'm keeping for myself and which ones I'm going to put in the shop. But yeah, stay tuned. Alright guys, so we are at the third Goodwill. You see it's raining outside. But that does not stop the thrifting grind. Uh. Alright y'all, so you see it's raining. It's just cause my outfit real drippy, you know. That's the only reason it's raining. If I wasn't outside, it'd be straight, but 
It's raining because the outfit is too drippy, drip, drip. But we about to see what we can find up in this joint. Yiddy! As I walk in here, I find a Calvin Klein vest. You know what I'm saying? Extra large. I like this Goodwill. I've been to this one and found some nice pieces before. And this just shows, you know what I'm saying? As soon as I walk in here, it got that corduroy look on it. But it's not corduroy. The look just look like that. But we hitting gold as soon as we walk in here. How much is it? Ten dollars, half off. That's five buckaroos. You did. All right, y'all. So we making a little intermission. We about to go into the mall, get something to eat real fast, and then we gonna slide to another thrift store. If we don't, then we gonna just go straight to the motherfucking crib, and I'm gonna show y'all what I picked up. You did. What's up, everybody? So we are back in the crib from thrifting all day. I just wanna let y'all know, it was a good thrift day if you did not take advantage of the thrift of the 50 percent off man i guess we're gonna have to see you at the end of the next month but we had a good thrifting day today um all the stuff that i got today was literally under 30 dollars and i got a decent amount of things so that half off really comes in clutch so if you wasn't hip to the 50 percent off every last saturday of the month now you hip so you don't have any excuses for next time but let's get right into these pieces. Okay, so first piece that I got out of the thrift store today is this Technica gray vest right here. This is so sweet. I like going to the thrift store because I really like finding vests. I find a lot of vests in the thrift store, like the one I got on. But I find a lot of vests in the thrift store, and it's always sweet coming up on some vests. Uh, this vest was like, uh, I don't even remember. I think this vest was like $5, like after... After the half off, so it was originally 10 bucks and I got it for $5. It's just a nice little Technica size large vest. I tried it on to see if it would fit me so I could keep it in my collection, but it was a little too big, so I'm definitely going to put this in the thrift shop. But for sure, got me a Technica vest. You see the embroidery on there. Nice, great condition. Don't look ran through or anything. Nice zippers on the side. But yeah, this is one of the pickups. And I'm definitely putting this in the shop. Mm. Next pickup from the thrift store. I got this Polo Jeans Company shirt right here with the deer and the American flag. And it got the patches on the sleeve to show Polo Jean on here. Um, I have another Polo Jean piece and it's a, um, a sweater that I got with the American flag on it. But this is definitely a nice pickup. I'm thinking about keeping it for myself. I'm not sure yet, but... Definitely a nice piece size, large, in good condition still as well. So like people who don't go to the thrift store, like, and you think shopping at the thrift store, all this stuff is like bad condition. I'm telling you, you can find pieces in there that people probably never even wore before. So please go thrift shopping if you've never been. Like this stuff looks like nobody has ever wore it. So get hip to the thrift or keep losing. You did. Third piece that I got from the thrift store is this Tommy Hill figure t-shirt um i forgot to tell you guys that uh polo shirt was i'm really not sure how much that was i kind of forgot i don't know what it receipt is it's not in my bag anymore but this shirt right here was literally two bucks this tommy hill figure t-shirt size large and then it says tommy hill figure i don't know if you guys could see it but it says tommy figure no tommy hill figure inside of the flag but yeah, this is a sweet pickup. Literally got this for $2. Like, a Tommy shirt for 2 bucks? Come on now. Like, come on, Tommy. Come on. This is definitely a sweet pickup. Nice gray t-shirt. Good condition with the Tommy Hill figure on the back of the shirt. No stains, no anything. Great condition. Next pickup from the thrift is this tannish like shirt. It's not really nothing to go crazy about. I just saw a nice tan shirt that looked kind of vintage and I've just decided to pick it up because I've been looking for like some tan shirts for my wardrobe. But it's a nice little tan shirt. It says scales and tails. I don't know what it is, but it's a nice little tan vintage looking shirt. And I decided, well, dang, this would be good in my collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the closet. But nice little tan shirt, good condition. For sure. Next item is just a blank Fruit of the Loom extra large sweater. I got this sweater for like literally like a dollar. But I'm going to probably customize this like I did my last one. So if you didn't see my last videos, I did some customization where I cut the sleeve and put pins on them and spray 
uh, paper, uh, spray painted rain on the back and a nice quote on the back. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to this sweater, but that's what I got this sweater for. Next pickup, this sweater right here is a Penn State sweater. And this sweater I found in a thrift store like two weeks ago. I was in a thrift store and I saw this in there and I didn't pick it up. And I came back to the thrift store this time and it was still in there. And I was like, I'm definitely going to pick this up. Got this for $2. Like, can't beat that. Nice little college sweater. You cannot go wrong with it. It's an extra large. The logo is like cracking a little bit, but it adds that like old school feel to it. Nice sweater, nice feel. Definitely, probably, I'm trying to think if I'm going to keep it or put it up on the shop, but yeah, nice little Penn State shirt, sweater. Next is these black, like, swishy, they like swim shorts because they have, like, the net in the inside, but I'm definitely going to use them for just, like, regular shorts. And they're just some nice swishy shorts. It says Oreos on it. I'm not an Oreos fan for anybody who think I am, no, but... Nice little swishy shorts. I've been looking for some nice shorts to wear because I have like one or two pairs of shorts that I wear like all the time. So this was a nice pair of black swishy shorts that I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of. Nothing too crazy to talk about. But yeah, nice condition. Definitely keeping these. Next piece is definitely a come up. I told you guys when I go into thrift, they be having a lot of vests. And I got this Calvin Klein tan vest with the four pockets on the front. Definitely nice, nice, nice condition. This has the price on it. I haven't been telling y'all the prices because I've just like forgot the prices. But I told y'all I spent under thirty dollars on everything in total. But this has the price on it, and it was originally ten bucks. So half off. I got this vest for five dollars. Nice Calvin Klein vest. It's an extra large, so definitely too big for me. But I'm gonna definitely put this up on the shop for anybody who wants it. But no stains, no anything. It has the button pockets at the top, buttons at the bottom, and zippers. So you can stash all types of stuff in this vest. So yeah, nice little vest. Calvin Klein. Eety. Next item is these Dr. Martens right here. This is definitely not my size. They are super long. You guys saw this in the vlog while I was doing it. But this is a size 11 Doc Martens. Definitely in good condition, not bad on the creases or the condition. They're just a little dusty, but I'm definitely going to like dust them off, make them look real fresh. But these are definitely really good condition. I got these for $8. I mean, if this was my size, I would have definitely been keeping them. I had some Doc Martens, but I sold them. I'm really mad about that. But if this was my size, I would have kept them, but they're a size 11 men's. Definitely good condition. I'm going to put these up on the shop after I like give them a little dusting off and stuff like that. But... Found some Doc Martens in the thrift store. Really good condition for eight bucks. For my second to last piece, as you guys know, I like my flannels. This isn't really like a flannel. It's, it feels kind of like a dress shirt Philly, but it has that same pattern on here. And it's just a Nautica flannel. I'm going to call it a flannel. It's just a Nautica flannel. You know what I'm saying? A red one. It was originally 10 bucks, if you can see. Got it for $5. This is a 2XL, and when I put it on, it fit really good. Like, you guys, my style, if you didn't know already, is like a grunge style. I tried to, like, veer away from the grunge style, but I was like, no, this is literally my style. I love the grunge feel. So, this Nautica flannel definitely fit that grunge style. That oversized fit on it just made it fit perfect. So, yeah, just a little Nautica flannel for your ass now for the last pickup this pickup is so fire to me i feel like this is my favorite pickup out of the all the things that i got and i'm trying to decide whether i'm gonna keep it or put it in the shop me and my mom were arguing over this because we were trying to say who was gonna have it my elbows look real ashy but we were trying to decide who was gonna keep this and i she found it but i'm gonna use it more likely but let me just get into it. Boom. This nice little bag right here. This is a vegan for life bag. Like it literally says, save the animals, vegan for life, ban GMOs. This bag is so fire. On the other side, it says, save the world, go vegan. So to all my vegans out there, this is, I know y'all know this bag is fire. I've tried to be a vegan a lot of times. It just didn't work. I didn't have the discipline, but trust me, I'm definitely going to eventually get the discipline and I'm going to be a full out vegan one of these days. But this bag is so fire, guys. Like, it's in really good condition. It got the zipper right here. Baby blue inside. And the tag inside says 
cruelty free. That's so fire that it says that 100% cruelty free. You can't see it, but definitely this is, I feel like the firest pickup that I had all day. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep it because I like little bags like this. They look real sweet. You throw it on like that with my outfits, but definitely love this bag and yeah, this is definitely the best pickup I feel out of all the things that I got. So yeah, guys, if you missed out on the 50% off Goodwill sale, just know to not miss out on the next one. Every last Saturday of every month, this is every month, every last Saturday, they do 50% off all their items. So don't miss out. Let me know what out of all these pickups did you like the most. And like I said, any of these things that I'm not keeping are going to be on my thrift shop. I'm going to drop the link below so you can shop. I also have some other things on there. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the little vlog that I had today. I hope you enjoyed the pieces. I'm probably going to try to do this even more. So yeah, guys, I'll see you next video. Like, subscribe, put a thumbs down if you didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't like the video. I just love that you watched it anyway. But yeah, it's your boy Forge Ripperton, and I'll see you next video. Yitty!